What's up guys, I'm Rhett. Welcome back to Lawn Insider. If you were with us last week, then you know that I decided to perform a height of cut reset on the lawn. So I went ahead and scalped it down and while it was scalped, I core aerated as well. So I showed you the one week post scalp, post aeration update last week. And this week's video, I'm just going to give you the two week update and I'm just gonna kinda talk about the plan of action here moving forward in the next few weeks. So I'm out here in the backyard right now with my two sidekicks, Finn and Milo. And we're just checking out the progress that we've made here in week two. And we've had actually a pretty good amount of green up since last week. I'll go ahead and throw a shot up from last week just so you can see the comparison. But over here on the side of the yard with the fence, so along the fence line, really about halfway out, and you can kind of see it right now too, but we had a very hard scalp over here. There was a lot of yellowing. I got down pretty low to dirt in some areas, and we've already had a lot of green that's starting to fill up in those areas. So hopefully here as we come up in the next two or three weeks, it's just gonna get greener and greener and greener until we get up to 100% again. So I am ready for that. But let me just show you some of these areas and I'll get out of the shot have to move around so it won't be casting my shadow in the in the shop but you can still see there's quite a bit of yellowing here in the backyard the front yard is actually greener but we didn't for whatever reason it didn't scalp down as hard in the front yard but it's coming back nicely and uh, I'm excited to see what it looks like next week so I'm making my way back to the front yard now so y'all can get a look at what that looks like but that's really one of the reasons that I really like that I've done all the YouTube videos and Instagram pictures is because I am able to look back on what things look like a week ago and see what kind of progress I've made, especially when I'm doing bigger projects like leveling or scalping or really um, aerating, anything like that to the lawn. Take a lot of pictures, take a lot of videos, so you can go back and you can see the progress that you've made week over week because it's a lot easier to stick to anything, not just yard work, you know, working out, anything like that. It's a lot easier to see the changes over a week or two weeks or a month than it is just to see it daily. So when you start seeing those changes and you know that it is helping your yard, it's going to make it easier to stick with your current program, but it's also gonna make it easier for you and it's gonna encourage you to go ahead and do those bigger projects in the future as well. So I recommend taking a lot of pictures, a lot of videos of your lawn just for comparison's sake. Now we're looking at the side yard and again, I'm going to just throw up a shot just so y'all can see what it looked like last week and how far we've come. And we are mostly green. There's a few spots, you know, here and over here. There's a few spots that are still a little bit yellow, but we are greening up. I don't have the deepest, darkest green I've ever had right now because I actually haven't touched the lawn with fertilizer, liquid or granular actually, in over a month. So the lawn wants a feeding and I'm going to feed it soon. And I'll talk about that here in a little bit in the video. But just this is purely from mowing frequently and watering. We actually haven't gotten any rain since I scalped either. So this is just from mowing and watering. And we've already had a good amount of green up in a fairly short amount of time. Here we are in the front again. And most of the yellow is gone. So we're mostly green. Again, it is looking like it wants a feeding right now. So I am going to fertilize this week, and I think I'll probably make a liquid application as well. But overall, you know, it's coming back nicely, and it's coming back strong, coming back pretty quickly, too, because it's, we've had a lot of hot weather, and Bermuda loves to grow in the heat. So, again, you can still see some yellow spots, okay, here and there. But overall, it's starting to look pretty good again. And give me another week or two, and we might be really rocking and rolling. So now that I showed you all the update around the lawn, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about kind of the game plan that I have for the next week or two coming up in the lawn. And remember, in the side yard, I said that I hadn't even touched the lawn in the last month or so, probably over a month, with fertilizer. And that wasn't really by design, I just never got out and did it. But then I saw that the lawn was getting so thick, and I knew that I was probably gonna end up resetting it 
at some point anyway, so I just held off on the product. Um, but now that it's growing back from the scalp, that color just isn't as vibrant as I want it to be. I think I will feed it this week, and I'm going to use this fertilizer that I picked up from the Ewing in San Marcos, actually. I'm not being sponsored, that's just the, the closest Ewing that I have, and that's where I do some of my uh, shopping for the landscape and lawn supplies and stuff. The analysis, oh, by the way, it's an Impro fertilizer. The analysis is a 28310 which is actually a high nitrogen and high potassium content. You don't usually see a formulation like that, at least in the fertilizers around here. Usually that higher potassium number is something you'll see more in like stress blends, but that's probably good considering all the heat we've been getting and we haven't been getting as much rain lately as we had earlier on in the summer. So I'm going to put this down probably midweek and get it watered in. And then I think I'm also going to hit it with a liquid application. And as far as the liquid application goes, I'm just going to continue to use the GS Plant Foods products that I've been using all season. And that is the Root Ruckus and the Green Envy. The Root Ruckus has sea kelp, humic acid, and some mycorrhizal fungi. And then the Green Envy also has humic acid as well as fulvic acid. Um, some other beneficial bacteria, and some liquid carbon for your lawn. So I've been using these all season, had really good results. If you want to see a video where I applied both of these products, then I will link that in the card in the top right hand of the screen. And that's it, y'all. There's really not a whole lot more that you can do to your lawn other than mowing it, fertilizing it, and watering it. So I'm going to stick with those three things. That's what got me this far. I'm going to continue to do that throughout the fall. And we are going to get this yard back to its former glory, and we're going to be back to 100% in no time. So I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up right here. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. If you're liking the content and you want to continue to see more of it and you want to see more updates, then hit that red subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave those in the comment section below. I'll see you all again next week. Hopefully you're with an even greener lawn. Lawn Insider, out.